732, I want to welcome to the uh, program, Josie. Uh, Josie, did we say the last name, Bassett? Uh, yeah, Bassett. It is Bassett. Well, good morning. How are you this morning? Are you uh, home up in the yeah. Seattle area? That's right, yeah. I've got, uh, I've got some relatives uh, that live up that direction, up in Marysville and down in Yelm, a uh, beautiful part of the world. Uh, well, Marysville, well, where they have the tulips. Is that what's, uh, I, I didn't know about the tulips. I know she, my, my sister yeah, lives. It's a big tulip festival in April. Ah, well, I've never, my, my, my <laughs> sister's never invited me up there. So maybe I'll just show up one of these times, say I'm going up to the uh, Tulip Fe- uh, Festival. Well, listen. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Welcome to the program here. A lot of people uh, recognize you as uh, your role that you played uh, a couple of years ago, and it seems like it's gone by so quickly. Jane Mancini on Melrose Place. Uh, gosh, you've been on all kinds of different magazine covers and uh, different things on uh, on uh, uh, TV shows and, and stuff like that. But you were, uh, let's see, and you were also on, uh, what was it, The Secret Life of uh, the American Teenager. Pregnant at 17 is uh, uh, the thing that you're uh, going to be in, well, you're in right now, because I just got done watching a little bit of it. Boy, that that hooked me in right away when I started watching that. Oh, good. That's good to hear. Yeah, it, does, it definitely hooks you in and takes you on a little journey, a little lifetime TV movie journey with a really cool twist that my character goes through that I, when I was reading it, didn't expect it at all. And it, it was just a, a great time with the really incredible actors, and the film looks really turned out well. I'm happy to be part of it. And that's going to be uh, premiering on uh, Saturday on the uh, 20th. It's on Lifetime. And like you said, it, it has a different twist to it, which I don't want to reveal on the air because uh, I, I think a lot of people will be surprised. It has some of the stuff that you would expect uh, sometimes for a Lifetime movie. Uh, it, it's uh, What does it say? Your, your husband uh, is cheating on you, and then uh, then you find out that the other woman is 17, and, and, and she's right. pregnant. And and then to add to that, uh, you in your role, you you played where you couldn't have any uh, kids, and yet the two of you, you and your husband, uh, wanted it. So that just that pregnancy adds to it. But then it takes a yeah, different that's, twist, that's right. uh, latter part of the of the show, and and it gets kind of uh, exciting there. Yeah, yeah, and it's okay. We can talk a bit about what you know, a bit about the twist, and I mean, I think that's what's neat and why I took the role of of Sonia. If she, you know, does something that you wouldn't typically think someone would do in her situation, and she, you know, at first is obviously like heartbroken and upset, so she starts to to stalk in a sense this girl, find mm-hmm. out who she is, and mm-hmm. and that's when she realizes the the young girl has no idea that this man is married, and how innocent she is, and how scared she is that she's pregnant, and so. She becomes her, you know, unlikely champion ally and protects her and helps her. And so the movie is essentially about, about that and their, their, you know, friendship building upon, you know, this experience that happened to, to both of them, not just, not just my character. Let me ask you this. You're a mom. You've got a 16-year-old son, 13-year-old daughter, and, and you've had experience mm-hmm. in different roles like that. Do you take any of the experiences from the roles and just you as a mom and... and have kind of these uh, one-on-one serious talks about life and situations like this uh, with your teenage kids? Oh, my gosh. I should, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. No pressure at all. But I'm just I'm curious yeah. about that because, again, we, we see you portraying this stuff, and so obviously there's, at least in storylines, uh, you know, and we all have exposure to this, but do we ever take And I, I could say I really didn't have a lot of sit-down time with my kids. We're all adults now. Uh, when they were teenagers right. leading into it. So it might yeah, be. Yeah, no. Yeah, thanks for that tip. I, I should start having more of those conversations. <laughs> Who you set know, me up with this know, phone call to California? <laughs> yeah, they say, they say, Mom, you have no idea what we know. Like, not just them, but kids. You know, we as parents sometimes are naive to, oh my God, they don't even know what that is. But with the media and social media, they know so much more than we know. Do you feel like maybe if you had one of those conversations, say, with your, your son, Mason, um, that you might be educated a little bit about where things are these days and maybe the attitudes of, of teenagers and, and what they do think about some of these yeah, serious life experiences? Definitely, and they're, they're both pretty open, and, and I, I'm not saying that I don't have these, but when I do try, what I get back is, I know, I know, I know, Mom. <laughs> and so <laughs> they know, and it's like I can't hammer in enough, you know, 
don't get a girl pregnant. Don't. I can't even. It's funny that is the naive part of a parent. Like when you said that, I was picturing my daughter in that situation, and I don't think I can even go there. You yeah. know, like oh my god, that would never happen to her. But you're right. I mean, my gosh, it does happen. It does, and it, you know, and and to think about yeah. sometimes it's an uncomfortable situation to uh, to think about. Well, the movie uh, is on Lifetime. It's coming up on Saturday, the twentieth, uh, eight o'clock Eastern and, and Pacific time. Pregnant at seventeen might be something. Maybe just sit down and uh, grab some popcorn and start watching it with the kids, and that might open up some conversation. What do you think? That's right. There you go. Yep. Don't jo- get pregnant at seventeen. All right. Well, listen. Uh, if I show up there in a couple of months to, at my sister's house, and I'll, I'll shoot you an email or something, we can go to the Tulip Festival in Marysville. All right. That's awesome. Make it April. We'll go to the Tulip. All right. Sounds good. Thanks for joining us on the program this morning, Josie. Thank you so much for having me. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye.